Yeah, right, so that. you've been yeah, quiet over there, man. Yeah, talk to her because I'm retarded. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Tell retarded. us a little bit about yourself, man. You you've been uh, rapping for a month. You were in the army. Yep. Uh, we don't know nothing else. Where are you from? All right. um, I'm from Alabama. Yeah. Originally moved out here in Vegas. What 2019? So a year after you got out of uh, the uh, military. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I lived a few places while I was in the army. I wanted to try Vegas out. Um, I dance out here as well. I do nails. Um, so you're yeah. just a hustler too. Yeah, <laughs> a little yeah. bit of everything, a little bit of everything, and dabbling in everything. Dude, I'm it. Yo, what? No. What? She's a fucking hustler. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> that shit right there. That shit do something to me. <laughs> Were you doing was... nails when you were in the army? Oh no no no! I went to nail school out here. Okay. And then um, I got my license and everything. Oh, no. uh, I got my esthetician That's license good. as well. Yeah. So I do want to nice. open a beauty bar eventually. Yeah. So that's in my list of goals there. While yeah. we're getting this I'm music out. Um, did I say I do photography as well? Yeah. 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 See, so we're all how did how did y'all two meet? Uh, actually, <laughs> go ahead. Tell the story. I ain't got nothing to do that. Actually, um, uh, we met on Instagram. He hit me up. Uh, well, actually, and him machine. and his cousin hit me up to shoot with them because they were having a power shoot. Um, okay. Let's talk smack. So I came okay, through. I uh, we met and yeah. we became cool after that. So. Yeah. Yeah, after that, we, it was... She liked to be all the fucking... Uh, the, the, the short... Yeah, the little short, cute version. All right, hit us with it. All right, man. So <laughs> Give look, us all the, all the details. Uh, Let me tell y'all how this shit went. All the juicy details. Let me tell y'all how this shit went, right? Hold on, I'm going to put the... I'm going to put the... <laughs> back over here so y'all can see. All right, so this this what had happened, right? You know when a motherfucker say that? It's some bullshit in the game, right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought him and his cousin was the same person hitting me up to shoot. Well, what happened like when we when we work with the models like that we doing um we work with a lot of first timers mm -hmm. you know what I mean because it's something about everybody wants their fifteen minutes of fame whatever like that stuff shit so whoever we would shoot with we would make their picture the profile picture on our page mm -hmm. so like a lot of times I'll get so much hey sexy in my DM and shit like that I'll uh, like hey man god damn it like guys yeah, and yeah shit. like no bro it's not me. So anyway, I'm a dude. Yeah, that type of <laughs> shit. So I had to eventually change it. We put I don't know what the photo was, but me and me and my partner had the same photo. So we were just going through Instagram like, okay, I like her. Let's work with her. Let's work with her. So if I if I, you know, send a message, he'll send a message behind me. So a lot of times they wouldn't know who if it was me or him. So it was mm -hmm. like crazy. <laughs> hey man, you know. Hey, you gotta beat the inbox down. You feel me? So yeah, so that's a lot of confusion on your part. Yeah, uh, yeah, only because they were trying to uh, make uh, let me come through to the power shoot. You know? Yeah, we uh, were just hitting every model in the city. We like, were a hundred people. We were talking about the themes. Ah, I mean, <laughs> uh, every damn body, like about I don't know, man. It was like twenty to thirty in uh, in like a, a suite. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it was crazy. But she came first. Yeah. She set the tone. Uh, like once shit, everybody saw us go standard. live with her, everybody was like, "Oh shit!" The D, I swear, I was like, "Yo, she was there." I was like, "Yo, you see this shit?" <laughs> I was like, "This is crazy." She was like, "Damn, I wish I could stay," but she left. But it was cool that she was there. We got to really just kick it, just you know, without the pressure of being in a room full of people. Cause mm -hmm. how it was going is like, whoever get there, that's who we shoot next. It was in the order, first come, first serve type of thing, mm -hmm. and it was like three photographers and um now she's my partner she's a <laughs> photographer too yeah you know what i mean yeah, like she said that. It's, it's it's just crazy how things work the universe is, is right. crazy like that it's but i would just crazy. see her post her little you know little little uh man little man bashing tweets here and there little <laughs> shit and i'll be like damn bro like what's up with y'all do like what the fuck what you going through like what's going <laughs> on out here yeah yeah gotta, she was a jig gotta grow up real. <laughs> she, she had all the hoes. I ain't know. She was just, that's all. She had all the hoes. Only one had more hoes than her was me. <laughs> so now y'all got like a collective of hoes. Nah, we gave all that up. 
for each other. Yeah. Oh, that's mad love, man. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Now y'all just <laughs> well, see, now nah, like she really other. fucked up my. She really fucked it up. Like because like if I if I fuck this up, like they gonna be like, oh my god, how'd you do that? You ruined it. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. I can't, you know what I'm saying? That's fucked up. Yeah. But it's cool being saying, partners with you guys. And uh, since that day, I met you guys, you know, after both of y'all hit me up. And I was talking about the theme. I think I was talking about the theme with either. She was, tell, she was talking about the, what they were going to, the outfits and all of that shit. So then and she then I'm sent like, it I to just, me. Didn't I just and I'm talk like, about this? I'm like, what, what's this? She sent me like this, the outfit. She like, I want to use this one. I'm like, what, what's this? She like, this is what we just talked about. I was like, huh? Whatever. It was really weird. But yeah, <laughs> we met in the parking garage. She was parked a couple cars over from me. I'm like, yo, I'm pulling up. She like, I'm pulling up. Where you at? 4B. Yo, for real, I'm in 4B. And she had this little, this little walk. You know what I mean? She was walking with her little sachet. Yeah, a little sachet. And I'm like, yo, turn around. And she's turned around and I was like, Yeah, I'm having you. <laughs> That's how that shit went. I'm having you. That's what I told her. You know what I'm saying? Here we are. It was a turnaround. Yeah. Uh, was. y'all silly. <laughs> I love it. Was. it. Was. Yeah, I'm having you. Yeah, that's baby. dope, man. To be able to find somebody that grinds like you, that's on your same level, that wants to get after it like you, that's hungry, that's dope. Man. Gotta keep each other going. I, I, it was crazy. It's Life is just really, that's how all purpose goes, man. You gotta do whatever you gotta do. At the time, I was just super, just running the streets all day. And I was like, it's cool, but you don't have no, uh, you don't have no, no uh, foundation. And like I said, I'm an adrenaline junkie. Mm-hmm. So it's like people are like, damn, you got a drug problem? No, I like my drugs. You got a problem with me doing the drugs, but me and the drugs have an understanding. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. So having that type of personality and just being in the streets all the time, it was just wearing on me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And I would just like, I had my little weed trap going. I was going crazy and you know she was a dancer and they make cash every night mm-hmm. so like i'm so hitting her with the yeah money, i'm just yeah. here i she was like biggest customer and i'm like bro i can't keep hitting your pockets like this like i'm getting rich over here then she turned me on to like six of her home girls and everybody mm-hmm. buying an ounce every goddamn day and a half and i'm like oh shit <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, God damn, this shit started booming. And I, and I was like, once again, you set the tone. Mm-hmm. She was telling me, like, oh, I don't feel like, you know, shit be going fucked up for me. I'm like, bro, I don't get it because shit fucking with you, shit started going always right. told me I was a good luck charm. Yeah, it's my muse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. good luck charm. Yeah. So I showed her how this shit worked and put her on. I heard trap boom and I said, and I went out of town. And then, you know, like, I left. I said, fuck it, you hold the spot down. She did that. I was like, ah, oh, damn. Uh, he was like, I oh, was, yeah, I got a real one. I gosh, really got to make man, sure I what? keep this. Oh, my God. And then <laughs> she called me. It was like, yeah, Yo, you got to come back. I'm tired. I don't know how the fuck you do this. Every time I sit down, you texting me, like, go here. Somebody else calling me. And I was like, yeah. So I was like, you know, what you want to do for it's real? It's a lot. She's like, I don't know. She's like, you know, the money is cool. The dancing and shit is cool. And like, yeah, those things are cool. But, you know, you want something that. You want something bigger. Yeah, better, something bigger. And longevity. Yeah, the streets ain't. You know what I'm saying? The streets got It's a time limit on that shit. You got to have your run and you got to invest it. So It's got to do what it's got to do. Yeah. So we flipped that. And I just was like, for my birthday, she uh paid for my LLC. She made me a business owner. That's dope. So I made her my business partner. Hey. You see what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Like, and then, you know, we opened our um photography studio. So we do we setting up a podcast there now too. So I'm gonna get some pointers from you on that. Hey man, whatever you need, I you got know what you. I mean, it's whatever, vice versa. However you I know, can help. I don't know how much I, I can. You can help a lot because you've been you've been <laughs> doing this shit. Like when it comes to the editing, when it comes to like, you know, being consistent with it. Like somebody that's trying to get into music, being around us, you'll fuck around and get into it because we really mm-hmm. into Look this at shit. Me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, just being around, being, being around like-minded people. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> we, we we just gave every like really. Say fuck all that shit. I just want to do music. 
I want to do Live my life. photography, do these videos, mm -hmm. and we make so much money doing these legit things. Why risk it? Why run yeah, the streets exactly. like that? And you tired as fuck. You can't really get nothing going. You know what I'm saying? You you mm -hmm. always waiting on the phone to ring, and it's like it's still the same as the nine to five. You still now you just a slave to the phone. Mm -hmm. All right, fuck. It. I just quit yeah. everything. Quit. Maybe you got my LLC. I had. I can't fumble the ball now because you made me legit. I gotta stay legit, and yeah. that's why I you see that. what you see on my page. That's why we work like this mm -hmm. because I can't go back to. I can't go back to the to to the the nine to five life, and I'm not going back in the streets. I'm not doing none of that shit. I'm doing getting money from the shit, the God given talent that I have. And now you got to work your ass off <laughs> just to match the adrenaline that you was getting yeah. from the other shit. And this is actually more fun. Yeah. This is actually more fun. And it's it, exciting. It is. It's exciting, it really bro. Is. It's something about making film. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For me to be more specific on my end, mm -hmm. uh, making movies, uh, a big general idea, and you put it to paper, and then you make it happen behind cameras, behind whatever it may be. Yeah. It's something special about that shit that's, you know, that... I tapped into at a very young age. Yeah, that's what I want to do next after this is something with film, bro. Cause it's oh, we got a we got a movie we working on. Yeah. Oh. So we need some badass gun toting guys to run around and you bro. know. He's like, I'm your guy. Heads, you yeah. know what I'm saying, yo. If I need to get my mask and my snorkel, dog, yes, I'll come yes. down there quick, so, bro. I'm trying to tell you, y'all see this? Y'all see this? It's yeah, love, man. man, but that shit, I, I really fuck with y'all, man, because, man, like you said, like, like minded people, yeah. mm -hmm. people that want to get it by any means necessary. Yeah. That yeah. Don't and and I don't want to take from nobody else. Yeah. I don't like, now keep in mind, I've been doing photography for, I've been my, my partner, I was his assistant. He's, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm a, I'm a musician. Yeah. So he was my personal photographer. But you were learning the game as you were going. You see what I'm Why saying? Why not pick up another trade? Why I think not? motherfuckers would be crazy if you don't. Bro was like, yo, I can't make it to your show. I'm sorry, I got to work, this and that. He just gave me a fucking camera. He gave me a $1,000 DSLR camera. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the fuck? He was like, yeah, I just got a new one. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. And after that, I it's mean, like, again, yeah, when, why see, not see, again when, when somebody blesses you, you have to pay it forward. Mm -hmm. So again, now I'm in a position. I have an LLC. I have a business license. So now, let's let's open something. Yeah. So we opened a photography studio. It was me and him. We brought her in, and we had a, another partner. You know what I mean? So all of us were doing the same thing, but we all have something else that we do. So it's not competition there. But everybody's still building the bigger for the bigger picture. Just think about it. The common goal. We we have we have a, a female photographer, so it's never gonna be those weird stories. Oh, they were creepy. The weird creepy photographer stories. Mm -hmm. We we have. She's there to manage the feminine energy. Yeah, she's there to make dope. sure that it's no funny business. Yeah, make the other girls feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. that's there you big, go. Bro. And she was. She's again. She's our in-house muse. So anytime we can't find models to work with, she's always she's there. Right up in mm -hmm. there. We so be in there having fun. In the yeah, yeah. We it'd just be, yeah. Let me let her in there. Bring uh, you know. Bring everybody's in. Everybody's comfortable having a good time. Yeah. Bring in. Bring in more talent. Then she danced at like four or five clubs around the city. So. I said, hey. You met a whole shit ton of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And before this, I had a whole different kind of life. Mm -hmm. And we'll, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I, I'll write something down for you to Google. And, and then you'll see, like, I've been behind the camera and in front of the camera doing all kind of crazy shit because mm -hmm. I don't know, bro. Like, I just like living life. What else would I do? It's exciting. It is. It's, life it's is good. Exciting. Every day you wake up, have some fucking fun. Have some fun. Somebody gonna report your shit on Instagram, try to fuck up your account. <laughs> Somebody gonna try to slide in your baby girl DM. Some bitch gonna call you playing with her. Doing all kind of shit they ain't got no business doing. All kind Ooh. of weird shit be going on. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You take it and you say, wow, people are assholes. And I digress. You know what I'm saying? And live life. Have some weed ball. Yeah. Don't, don't let ball. that shit eat you up all day. Yeah. Take, it, take it for what it is. Yeah. Move on and enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, and then once the sun goes down, you put on your all black and you all lay in they fucking bushes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Oh, yeah, we handle all that, and then we go back to you know, see. But that's what I'm saying, man. I want to live like it's crazy because the rapper shit is more dangerous. Man, my I'm sad, just... bro. Like this shit is, I like I'm really sad. Like I'm trying to like, I don't know how like a, a gang of kids and shit. Cause I'm yeah. sad. Like I I don't want to die behind this shit. I want to have fun. Like I don't make. All the, I'm not with all the rah 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 shit. I lived that life. I'm done with that. That's cool. And I know everybody got a they on their path and shit. Mm-hmm. But goddamn man, I really like soft legs and you know, uh, nice cars and goddamn jet skis. You know? Hell yeah. I, guns are fun too. <laughs> guns are but fun. guns are a tool. You know what I'm saying? You don't like. I don't want to wake up every day and be like, oh, like I used to man. That's a big part of why I came out here, cause it's like being in Detroit, waking up every day, and you feel like I ain't got my gun on me. I'm a like, it's like that should do something to yeah. you after a while, bro. I got really got PT- PTSD. Yeah, I got yeah, I really got PTSD, about, yeah. and I ain't been deployed. Mm-hmm. Like having six people die in a PTSD year of time, streets, like yeah. yeah. How many people real. they talk mm-hmm. about all the people in the military that have PTSD, but how many people in the streets have PTSD? Because yeah. I bet you a lot of them do yeah. and don't even know. Don't know. They just be like, man, I'm fucked up. You can yeah. get PTSD from a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trauma. It doesn't you know? have to be war. Car accident. Yeah, car, car accident. accident. Yeah, yeah. 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 all of that. Anything. anything. Life is going to be traumatic as fuck. It's going to be a lot of OGs say, uh, shit, seven months of good, five months of bad. You don't know which months are going to be the good <laughs> months or the bad months. You might have two bad weeks in this month, and it might it's just how it evens out. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, life is good, man. Enjoy yeah. yourself, you know? And you just, life you gotta, beautiful. even when life is bad, you just gotta appreciate the little things and get through those bad times. Yeah. Because, like you said, seven good, five bad. Just get that's, through. Yeah, just get you through know, it. Keep it pushing. Yeah. Do something that's gonna make that time go by. Mm-hmm. So, I, I know we didn't get to talk about much sports. Oh, I'm not five even ten. tripping, bro. Bro, this has been like a great experience. I feel like so alive, and I feel like. We getting ready to go smash this performance, and I don't want to be rude, dine and dash type oh, shit. Oh no, I know you got your but video. We, we got to yeah, it's five ten. We got to make it, pick up these uniforms. Uh, man, go get prep. We just gotta prep for this video. I got you. And yeah, then go get. Okay, right, let me close this shit out. Close man. it out, man. Take All right, well, hey, Art, Venom, y'all two badass, mm-hmm. beautiful motherfuckers, bro. Oh my God, y'all out here fucking working. Y'all are grinding. Hey, ball I fuck head with, hey, with the gang. Ball headed oh, motherfuckers. Yeah. Ball head whole shit. You feel me? Hey. Professor X type mm-hmm. shit. Learn about it. They're not even ready. <laughs> not hey, but work. no, I, I fuck with y'all, man. Thank you, bro. You guys are grinders. Thank uh, you. And I guess I got to do what the fuck I got to do because I'm about to pull up to your shoe. Yeah. Hey. yeah Come I'm gonna on, pull up for sure. So, hey, everybody, I'm going to uh, put their in- info in the description. These guys, they're grinding. They work. Make sure you check them out. Hey. That sums it up for another episode of Talk Smack with Mac, baby. We didn't talk sports this time, but there's special exceptions for special people. And y'all two are and we gonna be back people. talking about BMX, motherfucking uh, skateboarding. I'm gonna have to do some uh, yeah, due we, diligence we, because, yeah, because uh, yeah, my, my, my motorcross fucking this knowledge my, is lacking a little bit. <laughs>